Ludacris has been working in the film and TV world for decades now, and he's still just as enamored with the detail of the sets as he was when he began. Taking to his Instagram on Thursday, September 28, the talented multi-hyphenate gave fans a behind-the-scenes look at a realistic-looking fake neighborhood that he's filming in. Man, working in film and television never gets old, he began. I am on a set right now, something really exciting I'll be able to tell you guys soon enough. But I was just thinking to myself, this neighborhood is a setup, it's not even real. I think Desperate Housewives shot in this neighborhood if I'm not mistaken. But how dope is it that it feels like you're working from home if you were to shoot in this little made-up-ass neighborhood? None of this shit is real. He continued, matter fact, let me show y'all what I mean. I'm go inside one of these houses. It's all a movie set. Wouldn't it be great to work in this environment? All of it. Set it up whatever you want. Just checking in with y'all. Exciting things on the way. Ludacris kicked his acting career off in the early 2000s, most notably with the successful Fast and Furious franchise, which is still going to this day. And earlier this year, the Atlanta native had the perfect response to people questioning why sequels are still coming out. That's the dumbest fucking question in the world. I'm going to tell you why, Luda said in a conversation with the All the Smoke podcast in May. Because no matter what industry we're in, podcasts, music, movies, it's all about a bottom line. It's all about how much you spend, compared to how much you make. We're making billions of fucking dollars, Luda continued, pointing to the franchise's success spanning over two decades. Bro, and I'm saying that like, I'm giving you my heart. I'm not trying to brag or nothing. So when you say, when some of y'all keep saying, why the fuck do y'all keep shooting these movies? Let me tell you why. Cause if you spend $200 million and you make a billion, who the fuck is going to tell you to stop shooting the movies when you're making $800 motherfucking million? How? I need people to stop asking that. Even if you don't like the movies. Even if you don't want to watch it, stop asking that goddamn question, the 45-year-old concluded. Earlier this year, the Fast and Furious films, consisting of 12 movies, surpassed the $7 billion mark following the release of Fast X, the first of a two-part finale, which made Universal the first studio to exceed $1 billion at the domestic box office in 2022.